June the 26th, 2022. Guys, a very quick video. Got some heavy weather coming in on me here in central Mes Mississippi. Uh, one from the east and one from the northwest. We're kind of in the center of that. We need the rain. Uh, pretty heavy winds just came through here. Had to batten down a few things. And I don't know how severe the lightning will get. But this whole system, guys, is now is being watched by the National Hurricane Center. And it has a 20% chance of development and moving along the northern gulf and possibly landing up in Texas. Again, we're right on the very edge of that large red cloud there. But the, there's a blessing in everything. And I'm not sure about all of Louisiana and Texas, but Mississippi is dry and we need it really bad. So to me, a tropical uh, depression moving along that area could be a blessing. Now, out in the Atlantic, we've got a 70% chance of development. And as the sun is setting there, this is the system. It already has counterclockwise rotation. Been watching it for a couple of days. The models are showing it entering the Caribbean, hitting somewhere along the Yucatan Peninsula, maybe getting into the Bay of Campeche, according to the Navy model, which is the furthest uh, northern model, bringing it up. Now, the CMC model, uh, the Canadian model, shows it going across Central America and into the Pacific, but the Navy model is the furthest north. We'll take a look at that tracking. Again, here is radar, even though it's getting dark. This is the system that we really got to pay attention to, depending on what happens with a, a very large area of high pressure that's over parts of the U.S. and most of the Atlantic. And guys, CERN is doing the same thing today it did yesterday. The uh, shields are collapsing. A lot of radiation's coming in. It was 114 today, even with the winds from the storm coming in. We have finally dropped to 99. Five minutes ago, it was 105. Again, 114. Here's your 20% chance of development along the northern Gulf Coast. And, uh, guys, again, blessed rain is what we're hoping for. 70% chance in five days. Shower and thunderstorm activity associated with a tropical wave located about 1,000 miles east-southeast of the Windward Islands continues to show signs of organization. Environmental conditions appear conducive for further development, and a tropical depression is likely to form during the early to middle week part of the week. The system is forecast to move westward to northwestward at about 15 to 20 miles an hour over the tropical Atlantic, approach the Windward Islands, and move up towards uh, the, uh, again, Yucatan Peninsula. The Navy model is the purple model right there. You can look at the color coding on your chart. The one to the furthest to the south is the green one cmc canadian model so we have our two main models showing that difference all of this will come together but let me say this and it was updated just a few minutes ago but uh, that's one of the straightest lines i've seen on a storm that far out this yellow orange uh red area is high pressure that is going to be the controlling factor this is the nav gym model from the navy here comes a storm into the caribbean skirting south of jamaica but this orange area here is kind of the edge of what controls the storm. These hurricanes moving counterclockwise would love to pull to the north, just the natural movement of everything. And so where, as we watch this thing stop along the Yucatan, notice where the orange line is right down central Mississippi. So depending by this time next week where that high pressure moves, and this is one of the reasons it's so hot, will determine where this storm comes ashore. Will it be Texas? Will it be a further along the coast? Will it be Mexico? We don't know yet, but we do know that it's strengthening. Again, I'm going to load this thing up fast before we get uh, the weather to knock our power out, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.